In this video, we'll be using dimensional analysis to complete a, a relatively complex um, problem. Mr. Newhouse's first car was a 1987 Buick Century. The engine's displacement was 2.8 liters. Convert this volume to cubic inches. Okay, so start off like you always do, by writing the given. Now let's, let's try to work our way through this like a puzzle. So they give us a volume in liters, and we're going to convert that volume to cubic inches. So liters and cubic inches are both units of measurement for volume. So I would begin thinking about the conversion factors that we have. Do we have any that we think we can use? Do we have any that have inches in it? Yeah, we do. It's this. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Now I realize that inch is not the same thing as inches cubed, but we'll address that in a little bit. Okay, so we know how to get to inches. We can get to inches by going through centimeters. And well, this is in liters, so do we have another conversion that can maybe get us to centimeters? Well, we have a conversion factor with centimeters cubed. And centimeters cubed, that's equal to one milliliter. And we know a milliliter can easily can be converted to a liter. So let's also use this conversion. A thousand milliliters equals one liter. So these are the tools we have to work with. Now we just kind of have to puzzle this thing together. So if we have liters in the numerator, we're going to need liters in the denominator, of course. So now the unit we're working with is milliliters. So let's use the second conversion factor to convert milliliters to cubic centimeters. Okay, so now the unit we have is centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters. Over here, we have centimeters. Let's go ahead and plug that in, and let's see how things would cancel out. Well, we know that in order for things to cancel out, the unit in the numerator has to be the same as a unit in the denominator. Now, these units aren't quite the same, but what, what, what will happen is we can cancel out centimeters in the denominator, and we can cancel out one of the centimeters in the numerator. So instead of being centimeters cubed, it will be centimeters squared. Now, what do you think a reasonable next step would be? Yeah, that's right. It turns out we can use the same conversion factor again. Now this time, we'll cancel out the centimeters on the bottom, and we'll cancel out the squared here in the top. Now let's use that conversion factor, the same one, one more time. Now we can finally cancel out centimeters in the denominator, and then centimeters in the numerator. And of course, the unit we're left with will be inches times inches times inches, which is, of course, inches cubed, or cubic inches. So this number has two sig figs that limits us to a number here with two sig figs. So in your calculator, here's how um, you should do this. Multiply 2.8 times 1,000 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. And of course, you really don't need to plug in times 1. And then you don't need to press enter or anything like that. Then just do divided by 2.54, divided by 2.54, divided by 2.54. So um, practice with your calculator a little bit and make sure you can get an answer of 170. And in case you're wondering, that's what that hot rod looks like right there.